What's going on, guys? It's Matt. It's Mentorship Monday. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I would really appreciate you guys if you could take a minute and subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to our newsletter. There's a button around here on the YouTube thing somewhere where you can subscribe and be a part of our newsletter. We blast out some really cool stuff that we're up to about once a month, every take. We don't blast you. We don't, you know, hammer you too hard, but just interesting DeRosa group projects and all that. So just be, make sure you subscribe to the newsletter as well. If you guys have real estate questions, you want to send them to help me at derosagroup.com. That's help me at derosagroup.com, and we will answer your questions right here on the YouTube channel. Today's question comes from Andrea, and Andrea is awesome. She's uh, connected with us on LinkedIn, and she subscribes to the newsletter, and she's a just awesome Derosa Group uh, uh, follower here. Thank you, Andrea. So Andrea's got she's down in Texas, and she's got herself. Uh, she's done some single family homes and now she's looking to get herself into apartment complexes um, down in Texas and she's got an off the market multifamily deal. And sometimes these come up for you guys, sometimes they don't. I helped a friend of mine out that had an 18 unit multifamily deal um, in another area and uh, it was interesting. So what, what happens with these off the, off the market deals is you, you tend to not have all the data that a if you find a multifamily deal that a broker is offering it'll have all everything and it'll all be nice and shiny and all the the expenses will be right there and the rent roll will be there and everything like that but if you get something off the market especially if it's in distress the owner or the person selling it's probably not going to have all the data and so Andrew's question is how do you value an apartment complex when you don't have all the data interesting question I'll just give you guys some rules of thumb uh, that, that you're going to have to use, Andrea. So hopefully you can get a rent roll. If you don't even have rent roll, like ask me if you even have leases. I mean, can you tell me if you have leases for the properties and how much does each tenant pay and everything like that? So if you can't estimate what the rent rental income for the property is, you want to take that, put it over here as, as the rental income. Then things are in public record, like how much the real estate taxes are. Um, if you know the market well enough, you should be able to estimate how much people are paying per unit for things like water. Um, and that maybe even ask another owner in the market, like find someone else who else and owns an apartment building in that market and ask them what they pay. You could even look on LoopNet and find a building that's for sale in that geography and see what's being paid for things like electricity, water, sewer, the utility bills, because you find you will find that those are somewhat common um, in, in general areas unless it's something way off the charts. Uh, for your building like a major leak or something like that but it should be around the same dollars per unit with other properties in the area um, and then you want to add all those things up and just a rule of thumb that you can use as I said on the expense side is anywhere between 45 to 55 percent of the income should go to an expense allocation um, so if you find the expenses total and they're at like 30 35 percent you're probably being a little too aggressive. If they total out and you're at 65, 70%, you're probably being way too uh, conservative. So use that as a rule of thumb um, on, uh, on, on making your cash flow projections. But take that rental income number, extrapolate through the market and through using that rule of thumb of you know 45 to 55% of expenses to figure what your net operating income is going to be. And then you can make them an offer based on that. You know, you should know how to take that net operating income and use the market cap rate or what a cap rate you'd like to buy it at and convert that to an offer price. So again, lots of rules of thumb and, and guesses in there, and you really need to walk the site. Once you walk the site, you'll be able to allocate for things like maintenance and deferred, deferred maintenance they haven't done that you'll have to budget to do with additional cash that you'll have to put into the deal up front. Um, or uh, or just regular maintenance to maintain the property that it'll take to keep it going and running. Um, and things like utilities, look to see who's paying for what as well. I gave you an estimate on utilities already for water and sewer, but who's paying for the heat? In Texas, you might not have too much for heat, um, but uh, you might have other uh, common things uh, that are that are common to the building. So, um, you know, one more thing that'll sneak attack you that you might not think of, but if there's lots of common hallways inside, well, how are you heating and cooling that common area and who's cleaning it? Because you'll have to have a cleaning crew clean and maintain that common area. Um, last thing, Andrew, talk to a property manager local to the area and see if they can help you estimate some expenses. Because if you're not going to manage it yourself, maybe a local property manager could help you come up with a few more rules of thumb for that geography.
So good luck on your deal. It sounds exciting. Um, hope you guys learned a little bit from Andrea's question too. Uh, and um, hope good luck for the off the market multis that you guys come up with. Off the market multis are kind of hard to come by these days. A lot of multis are listed um, publicly on on the uh, on the local MLSs or on the uh, on the internet one way or the other. So if you get something off the market, uh, it could be a good one. So. Um, Email your questions to help me at derosagroup.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of our stuff. I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for watching and have a great and profitable week.